Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I'm teaming up for a new series of tutorials with my friend Alessandro from renderking.it. And I'm gonna be creating the English version today. He's gonna to be doing an Italian version. If you're interested, you can head over to RenderKing. Today we're gonna to be doing a kind of a blobby organic reveal. You can do this for text or logo or whatever. And we're gonna be using R20, just so that you know. So let's jump in and we're gonna be using primitives just to keep things snappy. All right, so the idea is to take this object or whatever object you're using, break it into pieces and then create blobs out of them to reveal. We're gonna create pieces using the old Voronoi fracture. And let's go ahead and add the Voronoi and drop our sphere into it. If you're interested in more about the Voronoi fracture, I do have a tutorial on that one. I'll put a link. But we're just going to be playing around with the point amount, which is the amount of pieces. And we're just going to crank that up a little bit. All right, so we're going to break these different pieces apart using a plane effector. So go to MoGraph, Effector, Plane Effector. And you can see that it jumped up. We're gonna to go to our parameters and turn off position. Instead, we're gonna scale all these pieces from zero. So we'll go to scale and we're gonna do uniform scale and go to minus one. And then we're gonna scale these up using fall off. So if you go to the fall off tab, all of the fall off tab is brand new in R20 and we have a lot of new features here. Um, there's a lot to go uh, over, but today we're gonna to keep it really simple with just a linear field. We're gonna click that. And you'll notice that we have a linear field object underneath our plane effector. And we can just move that through our object. So we'll put it on the left side, make a keyframe, go through to the end of our animation, drag it across and make another keyframe. All right, so here's our reveal. And now we're gonna want to have some randomness to it. So we're gonna add a random effector. Go to MoGraph, Effector, Random Effector. And make sure under your Voronoi Fracture, under Effectors, you drag that random effector. And things are looking good, it's all random. However, uh, we want this random effector to also have the same linear field settings that our plane effector has. The nice thing about the new field system is that we can use one of these for multiple effectors. So if we go to the random effector under fall off, we can just drag the linear field that we've already created. And now that linear field is driving the plane effector, but also the random effector. All right, so let's dial in our random effector here under parameters. We don't necessarily need as much position, but we're gonna do a bunch of rotation. So we'll turn on rotation crank that way up. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is keep all of these pieces a little bit closer to each other so that they can blob together and look organic. We're gonna do that in our linear field under the length. We can kind of tighten up that fall off, keep them just a little bit closer together. All right, so now we're ready to sort of connect all these and smooth them out into organic blobs. And we're gonna do that with the new uh, volume meshers. So let's add a volume builder first and let's drag our Voronoi Fracture into the Volume Builder. And I've also created a full tutorial on the Volume Builder and Mesher, which I will post below as well. But um, the first thing we're gonna need to do is change the voxel size. This is just kind of a representation of the object in voxels. This isn't actually geometry. If you render, there's nothing there. But what we can do is drag the voxel size down so that we can have a better representation. So something like two. Now this is looking pretty interesting, but the first thing is these are all separate objects still. And while this is a pretty cool look, we're gonna want these to all blob together. And we're gonna do that by adding a smooth layer. So if we click smooth layer, it's gonna kind of turn these into sort of a meta ball type look. We're gonna get the really nice blobby organic look as they grow together. One thing I would like to do is add a delay effector just to make this kind of uh, bounce a little bit as it wobbles to a stop. Let's turn off our volume builder just so that it's faster and let's go to our plane effector and under that fall off, we can now add a delay effector and let's change the mode to spring. Let's play through that just so we can see what's going on. And now we have that nice little wobble at the end. And that's gonna add a lot once we make it blobby and have that kind of organic look. All right, so this is about it for the whole procedure. Now we just need to add a mesh so that we can render this out. We'll go to volume and volume mesher, and we'll drop the volume builder into that mesher. And now we should be good to go. One thing I did want to mention is that this is completely procedural, meaning that you could just save this project file out with this whole stack and use this as the, the uh, starting point for any project. Because everything is completely procedural, we can just throw a different object in there and delete the sphere, hit play, 
and that entire animation is going to use a cube now. So just like that, you could throw in a logo, you could throw in some Motex or whatever and have a really cool reveal. All right, I hope you guys found this tutorial fun and useful and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks everybody, ciao.